Hi folks, Shane here. And today, we're testing out what could be a possible solution to the audio on the GoPro 11. Um, it's only a trial, but uh, let's see how it comes out. Anyway, as always, welcome aboard on the journey. But first of all, we need to get some fuel. Right, £13.97 for 8.27 litres. Christ, when I was a kid, it was about a pound a gallon. Not even that, I don't think. Ooh. But there you go. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So yeah, today's about testing out the new audio possible solution. Um, I used to just run it with a Rode Lavier uh, mic straight into the GoPro. But as you know, with GoPros, you can't adjust the gain. Now I've had the DJI wireless mics for a while now and with them you can adjust the gain on the the microphone and on the receiver so what I've done I've set it to minus 12 decibels on the mic and it's really a case of just seeing how it works um, but uh, you've mostly noticed I'm not using the Insta360 X2 today I've gone back to using my GoPro 9 um, don't get me wrong, the X2, for what it is, absolutely brilliant, but it only shoots at 30 frames a second. And to be honest with you, the image quality out of it isn't that brilliant. So I thought, let's just put the old GoPro on 2.7K, 60 frames a second, same as the Elmic Cam, and we'll see how we go with that. But, uh, um, Every now and again I get tempted to get one of these either the DJI Action 4 or the Insta360 Ace Pro but um, whilst these are working they'll do for me and to be honest with you I'm very very pleased with the video quality of the GoPros um, so yeah why spend shed loads of dosh on action cams when you don't have to that's just me although a mate of mine old Mark from Motor Tripper UK he's just got himself not only the Insta360 Ace Pro but he's just got himself the 360 X4 and I have to say looking at the quality of the uh, video it's a huge improvement on the X2 I don't know what the X3 is like I'll be honest with you um, but the X4 does seem to be pretty good. How's the audio sounding, folks? Is it sounding good? Is it sounding crap? Please let me know in the comments. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was thank you so much to everybody who, who watched the um, Chalk Pit Lane video I did. Um, that's had so many views, um, <coughs> excuse me, and likes on. Over the, over the moon with it so thank you to everybody who watched it and left a comment or a like or whatever much appreciated um, really is and like I always say if you haven't considered subscribing please do so I think I've got 17 more subscribers from that video alone so yeah nice one so this is a, a lane or a minor road that some of you may be familiar with from my videos um, we're going up to the top of Mill Hill where the old radar station was during World War II and then during the Cold War it was a listening station um, to see if the Russian bear was coming but um, now it's all part of the South Downs National Park and uh, yeah it's a lovely place just to come for a little local ride nice and quiet although saying saying that now I've said it you can guarantee there'll be everybody and his uncle up there today yeah 
Yeah, so if you want to see what the X4's like, give my old mate Mark's channel the view, Motor Tripper UK. I'll leave a, a link in the uh, description down below, as you always do. Smashing lad, rides a CRF 300L, and um, he's also got a Triumph Tiger. And uh, yeah, really nice flower. I'm uh, looking forward to meeting him up at um, the Lightweight Adventures Festival. Somewhere up in Derbyshire, I can't remember the name of the place, but that should be a good weekend with all the boys. And of course, I think his friend, uh, Mark's mate Miguel, is coming down, so I'm looking forward to meeting Miguel as well. Another CRF rider. Well, not so little anymore. Oh, poppies as well. Look at that, folks. Isn't that nice? Splash of colour. Mm. But now going back to the chalk pit lane uh, video, that, that little lane is absolutely brilliant to ride. A great place for me to learn my skills. Um, she got a bit of everything. The only thing that's missing is sand. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got ruts, it's slippery in the wet bits because it's chalk. Um, but the little rally did very well. As I said before, it's all standard. Nothing's been jazzed up yet. Well, I can see why people do change the suspension. Um, I mean, I was taking it nice and steady, which is which is me a bit like driving Miss Daisy but I'd rather take it steady than throw it down the road or down the track shall we say ride within your limitations and the bike's limitations of course so what we're going to do we're going to go up here a little look to see what's going on. Wow! What a cracking view in it, eh? Absolutely cracking. Very, very lucky to live where I am. Unfortunately, there's not too many lanes like there is around the rest of the country. You know, Wiltshire and up north. But um, that makes it all more exciting going to new places, doesn't it? Maybe do a bit of motorcycle camping. And yeah, just enjoying it.
so yeah back to the the video and why i'm out here is what is the audio like hopefully it's good um as i say please let me know in the comments but um as i said it was a short and sweet one um i'm off now for dinner oh, look at that guys what a view <laughs>